Hey guys, Marius here. In this video I'm going to walk you through the page builder included in the Kalia Steam. I want to explain about how to use it. I will do that in the next videos. But for the moment I just want to present its uh, features. So uh, basically as the name implies, this is a page builder, not a site builder. So this means the construction is on a page level. Let me just access the page builder and show you its cool features. So first I'm just going to access the backend. Great. Now you can access the page builder uh, through the uh, pages uh, section of the backend. For example, uh, this one. You can just click edit this page with a page builder or I will just refresh this page because I'm now logged in and this bar should appear now. So you can just click edit with page builder and it will uh, automatically, automatically access the page builder uh, mode so I'm going to start with its uh, primarily uh, coolest feature now this is a uh, front page builder meaning the whole construction of the website will be done 90% into the front end also it has a cool feature such as a live editing which is very useful to go I don't know straight to your uh, ideas so I will just quickly um, show you how to use these live options and how to access uh, an element's uh, options. So I'm going to use uh, icon box as a reference. We have these right here. Let me just edit with page builder. And you can see when I'm hovering over the elements, some option bar appears right here. I won't explain about these. Uh, I will do it in the next video. Right now, I just want to to show you how to uh, quickly and dynamically edit an element with the front end. So, as you can see here, we have simple options. But what I want to go to is right here. For example, this style options uh, tab. You can see right here, uh, you can select a uh, different background uh, option. As you can see, it has changed here. You can change the color, for example. You can change the shape's uh, background color. Of course, the hover uh, when you're hovering with your mouse. And then we have the icon size. You can you can play with these options uh, pretty much anytime, especially when it comes to sizing or things like that. I mean, you don't. The the advantage of uh, the page the front end page builder is that you're directly editing here. You don't have to go to the back end. Uh, I don't know refresh and so on. It might be cases when you uh, will just refresh, but usually you don't have to. So moving forward, uh, you can uh, set the padding of the background, the box alignment, or all kinds of uh, options. Now, not all options uh, do have this uh, cool live uh, feature, but we're we're trying to find solutions how to do this for example we'd love to uh, just uh, have a live editing for the text right here or description or i don't know every every other options especially there's a problem when the markup is uh, changed anyway i won't talk uh, too much <laughs> about them so another cool feature is the drag and drop interface Let me show you how simple it is to create a new page or simply, I don't know, existing a new one. 
for example I'm in the edit mode right here and I have these options these uh, elements sorry right here in this drawer now I haven't explained about this uh, as you can see here we have a, a quick menu quick filtering uh, type of uh, element we can add elements we can add templates we can save elements and reuse them or we can just add some custom CSS directly for this particular page now I'm going to try to add a new element let me just say uh, call out banner let me just add it right here or better said let me just add a section so I can have this element positioned into a column now if you see right here we have a section which is the mother of all elements this is the ground base then we have the column which you can uh, resize right here and uh, let me just move this element into the column now sorry I won't like I said I won't uh, explain too much about the uh, how to uh, actually use the page builder because I'm going to do this in the next video but for the moment I'm just going to quickly make a small demonstration of uh, a simple element so I'm just going to say just a simple call out banner I'm going to quickly generate some dummy text right here and for the button button and hmm, I should search I'll just leave it like it is and save as you can see the element has been added it's pretty easy it's very actually very easy you just have to drag and drop uh, move uh, move columns duplicate columns uh, I don't know pretty much everything they all have their own options we also added the uh, hundreds of video tutorials and documentation uh, tutorials so uh, I invite you to have a look at them and you'll understand uh, immediately how to use this uh, interface now um, another cool feature that uh, I wanted to explain is the uh, part of the uh, reusable elements and page, page templates so for example I can just I don't know save an element as you can see in this option bar there's a floppy disk right here which uh, will save the element for example just a simple icon box it doesn't matter it doesn't matter how you call the element and you can also save the entire section just a cool section great now if I'm going to access the saved elements unfortunately um, it won't be uh, automatically uh, refreshed I'll just have to publish and refresh the entire page as you can see they appeared right here so if I add these uh, Icon box that I saved before it's an exact clone or I can just drag the entire section and you can see I basically duplicate it and I can use it in every single page I want you can also uh, delete them if you don't need them anymore uh, it's up to you how you use these uh, save the element uh, feature now another one is the templates for example we have this page right here and I don't know I just want for example to duplicate it and uh, just recreate all these elements and uh, reuse the page so I'm going to just 
say just a cool page and I'm going to save the template this one <laughs> it's actually uh, it's actually done uh, made uh, instantly so let me just create a new page I'm going to say just I'm with the just page no, testing page enable page builder publish and edit this page with the page builder as you can see it might look broken but it's not this is the way it's supposed to be so I'm going to go to the templates and I'm just going to click it now uh, you'll be prompted with this message which is saying are you sure you want to load this template it will be automatically added at the end of the page now if you already have content don't worry it won't be uh, overwritten it won't if you accident accidentally uh, add it uh, you'll just have to refresh the page and that's it it will be deleted but if you're intentionally editing as you can see it has been added I'm just going to publish and I'm going to view the page in non uh, page builder mode so this is uh, this is the page builder um, last but not least uh, we have the um, just what I wanted to say is that we have uh, an entire flexibility with lots of options and uh, features for example if you went through uh, the Kalias demo you will notice in the elements section there are literally hundreds of elements and uh, each one has its own options uh, its own settings it's um, you, you can create very unique uh, stuff I mean it all depends on your imagination and the quality level of uh, uh, stock graphics or illustrations or what you're using uh, inside this uh, uh, theme because I'm sure it will uh, look great so uh, like I said before there are lots of uh, options with their uh, with their options and as you can see each one has uh, lots of options and they're pretty much easy to use I mean just as you can see it's a uh, it's a simple interface with a drag and drop with uh, just toggles and simple options and you like I said uh, there is a strong uh, documentation and video tutorials uh, database so that's about it um, if you have any questions uh, about the page builder or suggestions on uh, how to or what to add uh, into uh, next series of videos just drop me a message and I will gladly uh, answer you and uh, hope I will implement uh, that uh, feature. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.